In this beaker, I've got a mixture of iron and sulfur. Sulfur is a yellow solid, iron is a black solid. And this is just a mixture of the two. I'm gonna put some out on this white paper there. And you can see it's a dirty yellow. It looks like dirty yellow because it's a mixture of iron, which is black, and sulfur, which is yellow. You know it's a mixture because I can physically separate the two. So if I use this magnet and I just put it around the sulfur, look what happens. All that iron that's in there is attracted to the magnet, starts coming out onto the magnet. And if I shake it a little bit, most of the sulfur goes back. So I have mostly iron here and a lot less iron here now. So I have physically separated the iron uh, from the sulfur. That's what tells you this is a mixture. Now, if I get most of the iron off this, and it's a real nuisance to try and get all the iron off it, but I'll get most of the iron off it anyway. If I get all the iron off it and I then switch to something else, this substance also contains iron and sulfur, but it's a pure substance. It's iron sulfide. So this is iron and sulfur chemically linked together. It is not magnetic. I can't pull up any iron from it because once the iron combines chemically with the sulfur to form iron sulfide, it has completely different properties now. So that's the difference between a mixture and a pure substance. Both of these things have iron and sulfur in them. However, this is a mixture of iron and sulfur, and I can get the iron out. This is a compound that has iron and sulfur atoms linked together, and I can't separate the iron from it because it's a pure substance, not a mixture.